Hi all, Aditya here from JH Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to di discuss the basic introduction about workflow, in which we are going to initially discuss about the what exactly is workflow. So, introduction to workflow uh, starts with the definition of a workflow. What exactly is a workflow? Is the pr the workflow is a particular process which actually ensures the right work is brought in the right sequence at the right time to the right people. So it is a tool designed and facilitate uh, to facilitate and automate business processes that requires tasks to be performed by people. Ideal for casual or non-SAP users since all the work items can be performed outside of SAP by simply responding to a mail. So as we have discussed in the theory part, if you have a, a mail to be responded like you have to agree or disagree or approve or reject you have to do any any such kind of uh, uh, simple tasks you can do it with just click of a button on your mail without even going entering into the sap system so all these things uh, can be done through uh, outside system as outright outside sap as well so here what exactly is uh, webflow so webflow is a work web, web functionality of workflow in which we can launch in the websites and then we can use it through the portals or websites no additional licensing or installation is required for uh, workflow or webflow and this is this comes by default with the uh, workflow and robust industrial strength sap business uh, workflow engine a framework that encourages efficient work practices there are basically three options of connecting workflow to the in, uh, to the external email like microsoft outlook exchange or lotus notes is also there and we have sap connect we have an internal mailing system in uh, uh, sap which you can you can you can act also access from so01 transaction wherein you can uh, uh, you can check your check your internal mails and these mails can be sent and received only within the sap other than this we can also send the mail to external mails also also for example you 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 want to send it to gmail even that also is possible through workflow but most of the times we will be using it through microsoft lotus notes or sap connect and in this today's uh, business is characterized by decentralization and what do we mean by de decentralization is say everyone is not managing every other person uh, on a day to day basis uh, so we have decentralization decentralization is something which you have uh, Mumbai office is there, Mumbai head office is there and Hyderabad uh, branch office is there. Hyderabad, Hyderabad branch office has need not report every hour to the Mumbai. So every month if you rep report that's enough. So Hyderabad is a decentralized branch to the main branch. So we have a lot of decentralization happening. Network infrastructures are there. So there are lot of network, network infrastructure has been developed in the recent past. And processes that, ca that cross our national boundaries and tight time distance because of the time tight time time constraints we should be able to do a couple of uh, you know concepts at a right kind right time in the right way and then we have a huge growth of e-commerce and in this e-commerce it's very important for us to do uh, things in a very sequential manner in an automated process for example if a customer inquires immediately he has to get a, a quotation so which has to happen immediately so that can be managed with a workflow and it has go global scope like workflow has gold global scope you can manage it from anywhere in the world to any 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 department in the world so ensures the consistency of your business process supplies performance metrics for continuous uh, process improvements integrate seamlessly with sap of solutions from financial accounting human resources sales and distribution material management quality management human human resources already we have so industry specific and sap business suit solutions saves lot of money and also resources and even time it, it saves lot of things so users get all the data in one place that is inbox we can ma monitor everything from the inbox what are all the things that you are supposed to do will automatically come to you the work will come directly into your inbox so you don't have to search what we have to do and where we have to do and all work to be done is there transactions menu paths are not needed a task is any step in a workflow each task can go to any other any another person and there is dynamic task distribution which means that as one person accepts a work work task and processes it it disappears from the others inboxes and can upload and use uh, use sap documents excel sheets and all uh, can you can receive notifications of errors through ale and workflow can interface to email lotus notes and exchange so this is a very simple workflow concept in which 
can we be created or uh, changed required data missing so in this what we have is if something is missing and you send a mail and that is fixed in the mail and it is completed okay so now here in sap systems uh, sap system id uh, on uh, a new seg segment organization customer account groups and all these things are there that so problems workflow may solve so communication problem can be easily solved through workflow so we don't have to you know uh, worry about what other person is thinking or in what pitch you have to you know express the uh, express these uh, things that is not all required it's a very mechanical kind of a work which automatically happens through the workflow so a, a, a you have to send an alert to someone immediately the workflow will take care of it you just have to initiate it at the right time and organize complex tasks very easily uh, route route for approval you can easily route for approval error notification we, if, if there is an error immediately you can send the notification by default the system will send the notification to the concerned person and what next if something has done so something has been done or something happens what the ne what is the next step that we have to do will will come in the what next and then we have time delays if there is any delay in the time time delays are there then you have to uh, check it in the time delays so we can we can avoid time delays using workflow actually and they can run but they cannot hide see everything is open everything is visible everything is transparent in workflow see who has to do when it has to be done whether the mail is been mail has gone to a person you, is, no person can claim that the, I, I have not seen the mail you if you get the mail you will get a notification and you must see that and if you're not seen that's that's his mistake he has to rectify that if he there is a possibility of you know if the if the person has not seen the mail even he might also get a call even that kind of a, you know customization also is there in workflow and pervasive computing uh, mappy we have we can uh, uh, we can use application uh, programming interfaces like uh, mail 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 application programming interfaces mappy means mail application programming interfaces lotus notes we can do it privacy and sap gui we can we interact with sap gui we can send and receive emails and uh, we can use the web browsing and this is how you, this is your workplace and this is a typical internet business scenario wherein a customer gives an order this is these are all the various transactions that happen between the seller and the buyer there are a lot of activities happening between the seller and buyer for all these things can be handled through the workflow so if the if the seller is using the workflow that will be the flow workflow will be started create data data from xml document create customer quotation create a quotation and create xml but here at the buyer level if the buyer is uh, implementing sap uh, i mean like workflow request for quotation can be created automatically transfer request for quotation to xml document can be done web activity uh, transfer xml document to quotation data confirm quotation data workflow is completed so all these things can be done in the buyer buyer end and seller end can also create these type of documents so business objects type is the design and implementation of a type of information in sap an invoice a customer master record a purchase order all these things are the business objects that we have as so examples of business object types and methods or events are like you know invoice order delivery note all these are the business objects are they also called as popularly just objects and edi uh, messages bill of material all these things are the objects and then we have methods or event examples so if a if a document is been parked if a document is been parked it is called a parked document and that is a that is a event okay parking a document is an event order cancel if it is order is cancelled it's an event import stage in a in a project completed or employee master data changed budget limited reached end of applications event can start and terminate uh, workflows all these are the events so standard terminology workflow definition instance or workflow task are all similar work object type or business object instance is similar uh, we have events triggering and terminating so event can trigger and it can terminate even triggering is nothing but start and the terminating is ending so agents as we discussed in the theory part agent is a uh, is a generic term uh, is, a, is a term which is used for a specific person role is something which is generic and there can be multiple number of time people in the role but agent is always one attributes a 
as already given example like you know if uh, for example if there is um, uh, president okay president of usa president of usa is a role and uh, barack obama is a agent so that is how uh, we have taken an example so attribute a property or characteristic of an object for example invoicing party is an attribute of an invoice so it's an additional feature of that particular task that particular process so method an operation that can be executed on on an object that's an op method binding the the specification of value from one workflow component to another workflow component is called binding so binding is like you know from one flow workflow component is there another workflow component that from that uh, workflow component another workflow component this is a binding so what is a container a common data structure used to define the data that is passed via binding so a container is something which will hold this particular structure and a dialogue dialogue task a workflow task that requires an action to be performed by a user whether a dialogue task is something which will give you a option only after that action is completed it will further proceed in the workflow until you take some decision it will not further proceed in the in the in the this thing so we have uh, for example we have approve purchase order okay background task no a non dialogue task that does not require any user action for example a background task could be update could be, could update a field on a purchase order without a user having to execute a meet on to where sub workflow a workflow template or a workflow task which is called by the another workflow so sub workflow within the workflow another workflow that is called sub workflow terminating event an event which is which your workflow will listen for which will terminate a single step task this is a single step task in which uh, you send a document create a document and it is been sent and the manager is approving it simple simple single step and multi step task is like you have approve reject change cancel all these things are there and if it is approved what has to be done it, if it is changed what has to be done this can be again a different task can be done so terminate a event terminating so workflow builder uh, swdd is a transaction code for workflow builder and uh, uh, we are going to discuss the transaction codes which we normally use in the workflow builder workflow builder provides a graphical interface to view and edit the workflows and the view overview follows uh, you allows you to control the global aspects of the workflow such as defaults of the workflow steps so this is a navigation view and this is the right side we can see is a detailed view and this is birds eye view birds eye view is something which will give you the entire workflow sometimes the entire workflow might not be uh, visible to you in the detailed view so we can see it in the uh, in the birds eye view in which we can see the complete uh, workflow so tab allows so whatever you have tabs allow specific views uh, whatever workflow container is there you can drag and drop that workflow container into the uh, detailed view and we can write a logic for that so agents are the people who may execute a workflow task as we discussed possible agents and the responsible agents are there and excluded agents are there so we have discussed very clearly that you know possible agents uh, we have taken an example of all the people who are working in uh, in say delphi project in in tata so all the people who are working in delphi project in tata tcs tata tata, tata com consultancy are the possible agents who are the responsible agents is uh, they, they are the responsible agents who are the possible agents is the all the abappers who are working in tcs so all the abappers working in tcs are uh, possible agents but responsible agents are people who are working in uh, delphi project delphi project so now what happens is in the combination intersection who are all the people who are working in in uh, delphi project in tcs and who are abappers are the responsible uh, are the uh, recipients and there are some excluded agents who are like you know some people who are working in on site those are recipient uh, excluded agents you can use a hr organizational structure initially we have to create an hr organizational structure to you know create this uh, uh, entire process and determine agents whether or not you have hr implemented by navigating the organizational structure you can determine you, who you sh who should be an agent of a, your dialog task so escalation management can be beautifully organized uh, through workflow 
So standard options uh, when defining workflow tasks allow the workflow developer to determine what actions should be taken uh, 